first video um, in the concentration game written in processing. Uh, concentration is also called memory um, and it's basically you set up a grid of tiles and you click on them and they flip over and when you make a match then um, the tiles go away. And sometimes there's like a picture behind the tiles that when you can eliminate enough tiles, you'll see what the picture is and you can guess at what the picture is going to be. So first thing we need to do is we've got to figure out our grid of buttons. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a button class. So here's my button class. And in the button class, as with any class, we're going to need members, constructors, and methods. So the first thing I want to think about when I think about a button is it's really just a rectangle or an oval, it's some kind of shape in which I have to place it somewhere on the screen. So first thing I need to figure out is like where to place my button on the screen. So I'm going to create an X button and a Y button. To determine where the x and the y coordinates are going to be for the placement of my button. And then the other thing is I need to figure out what the width and the height of my button are going to be. So I can't use width and height because they're uh, used words in processing the special words. So I'm just going to call it width and butt height. So there is my members. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create some constructors. I may only create one at this point, but a constructor always starts with the name of the class. And then you need parentheses and of course your curly braces. And in this constructor, I want to include all four variables. I want to be able to initialize all four variables. So I need four integers to represent the four variables. And then inside the class, I'm just going to set each one of my member variables equal to each one of my parameters. Next thing I want to do is I want to set the button to have some kind of color to it. So um, I'm going to have a little bit of fun. And I'm just going to create a RGB triplet that is random. There's my red. So I need a green and I need a blue. So that should pick a random color from my fill color. So there's my button constructor. Basically I've done everything I need to do there. Now my method, the only method I can think of right now, although we may come back and add more later, is a display method. Because I want to actually print this thing or display this thing on my screen. So I'm just going to display. And it's a void method because it does not return anything. But it does draw a rectangle inside of the display. So what I want to do is I want to draw a rectangle. I want to use my X, my Y, my width, and my height. So basically that's what that does. All I'm going to put in my button class right now, so I'm just going to go ahead and save it. And so then I'm going to go and test it. So the way that I test it is I go back into my main class, and this is the main class. So you need two things in a main class. You need a setup. I think it's just 
and you need a display. And I'm going to need to create a button object because I want to test my class. So I'm going to say button, button. And then in my setup, I'm going to declare my button. And the constructor says that I need to list four integers, the first two on my XY coordinate, and then there's my width and my height. So I'm just going to put some numbers in here to test my placement. That's my X. Uh, here's my Y, my width, and my height right there. So there's my button. And then what I have to do is I have to display. So what the display method is going to do, I think it's draw, excuse me, it is the draw method, not the display method. See how it turned a bold color when I did it correctly. So essentially I want to use my dis button display method in the draw method. So I have to use my button, and then I have to say display. And do we need anything in the parentheses? According to my button class, I do not. So, let's do this. I'm going to save it. I'm going to run it. There it is. Now, a few other things I'm going to put in my setup so I can see, because you can't really see my button there, is I can set the size of my window. And I can set the color of my background. So I'm going to go ahead and run it again. And there it is. There's my button. And you can see the button is approximately at 90, 100. It's top left hand corner. And it has the width of 68 and the height of 45. So there it is. If I stop and I run it again, it comes up as a different color because of the random number. So that's basically how you create your button class. In the next video, I'll create the grid. See you next time. Bye.